Hi everyone, welcome to IT PK. In this video, we are going to learn the steps of configuring Microsoft Defender Smart Screen for Microsoft Edge using Intune. Microsoft Defender Smart Screen is a Windows built in feature that helps our users to protect against phishing on malware website and malicious application and the downloading of malicious files. It determines whether the website is malicious by analyzing web pages looking for indications of suspicious activities. If Microsoft Defender Smart Screen determines a page is malicious, it shows the warning on the page or it shows advice caution. Checking the visited site against a dynamic list of reported phishing sites and malicious software sites. If it finds a match, it shows a warning to the user that the site might be malicious or potentially harmful. Smart screen also help us whether a downloaded app or app installer is potentially malicious. By checking the download files against the list of reported malicious software sites, and programs that are unsafe. By configuring Microsoft Defender Smart Screen, we can protect against malicious websites and softwares on Intune managed devices. We will configure Smart Screen using Intune administrative templates. So we will configure only the required setting from Microsoft Intune for Windows devices. To log in into Microsoft Intune, Please use this URL intune.microsoft.com and you must be a global administrator or Intune service administrator to perform these steps. To configure Windows Defender Smart Screen, let's go to Devices, then scroll down and go to Configurations. In the Configuration, click Create and go to New Policy. In the Platform, please select Windows 10 and later. And in the profile type, select templates. Scroll down and find here endpoint protection. And now click create. Now let's provide a meaningful name. Screen. Description. For Intune Manage Devices. Perfect. Let's click next. On Configuration Setting page, click on Microsoft Defender Smart Screen. Expand it. Enable both of settings to enable Smart Screen. Smart Screen for apps and files is enabled now, and unverified files execution is blocked. Click next. So here, uh, let's quickly create a group for your understanding. Uh, we will create a group here and we will assign that group here for our smart screen configuration. So let's go to group, all group and here, let's create a new group. I will name it smart screen security. Okay, perfect. Uh, I will add the same description here and I will let on add member into this group. So currently, let's go back. You can add all users, all devices. You have this option, but I am going to add the current group we have created here, and that is Smart Screen Security Group. Let's select the group. You also have the option of excluding group, right? But remember when excluding group, you cannot mix user and device group across include and exclude. Let's click next. On applicability rules page, click next. Review the settings you have set up for your smart screen Windows Defender and click create. This will take a few seconds to create this policy and you will see this policy here. Windows Defender Smart Screen. Next, we will create 
one more configuration profile to customize smart screen setting for Microsoft Edge. So let's go ahead again to devices and then we suppose to go to configuration. In the configuration, go to create a new policy here, select the platform, Windows 10 and later, and here profile type select templates and now we have to select administrative templates and click create again provide a meaningful name for this configuration profile okay after entering a meaningful name and description click next okay uh, here under computer configuration let's find microsoft edge in microsoft edge scroll down and hopefully we will find here smart screen settings uh, let's go to the next page here you go the first thing here is configure microsoft defender smart screen policy needs to be enabled microsoft defender smart screen policy will be turned on and user will not be able to disable this policy from microsoft edge next we have option here configure microsoft defender smart screen to block potentially unwanted app this policy will block potentially unwanted apps that have low potential and low reputation and host it on low reputation websites so let's enable this next policy here uh, we have to enable is for dns enable microsoft defender smart screen dns microsoft defender smart screen will make dns requests to get ip address and this ip address will be used for ip based protection click ok next policy we are going to enable here enable new smart screen library here that allows Microsoft Edge browser to load new smart screen library for any smart screen checks on the site, URL, or application downloads. Let's enable this and click OK. Next, let's enable force Microsoft Defender smart screen checks on downloads from trusted sources. This policy setting lets you configure whether Microsoft Defender smart screen checks downloads reputation from a trusted source. Let's enable this. And this setting type is also device based please remember we are setting up all these settings that are device not user based the next policy we have prevent by passing microsoft defender smart screen prompt for site this policy setting lets you decide whether user can override the microsoft defender smart screen warning about potentially malicious website so if we enable the setting, user cannot ignore Microsoft Defender smart screen warnings and they are blocked from continuing to the site. So I want to enable this policy as well. So let's go to the last policy, prevent bypassing of Microsoft Defender smart screen warning about downloads. The above policy was about sites and this policy is same as about downloads. This policy Let's you determine whether user can override Microsoft Defender Smart Screen warning about unverified download. If you enable this policy, user and organization cannot ignore Microsoft Defender Smart Screen warning and they are prevented from completing unverified download. Let's enable this and click OK. Let me show you one more important policy here that configure the list of domains for which Microsoft Defender Smart Screen will not trigger any warning and you can add trusted domains here. You can enable this policy and you can add the list of domain here and if you enable this policy Microsoft Defender Smart Screen trust these domains and if you disable or don't set this policy the default Microsoft Defender Smart Screen protection is applied to all resources. So in my case, I am not adding any interested domains here. If you want to add here, you can also see the example and you can add trusted domains here. So I'm not adding any domain here. So I have configured here seven settings and other two are remaining. And this was just to explain you 
you can add or change any settings according to your requirement or according to your company needs so i am going to click next i am going to skip this scope tag here and i want to add the same group the smart screen group i have created earlier to assign this configuration profile click next and here we can review all of the settings we have enabled and now after reviewing these settings click create it's saving our policy this will take few seconds policy will appear in the list so configure smart screen from microsoft edge is also here and windows defender smart screen is also in our list we have created total two device configuration profiles and when the intune devices will check in for the next time or get sync with microsoft intune our these two policy or configuration profile will be applied to intune managed devices and we will get the report in our configuration profile report section we could also export that report here and if you want to change this policy setting or if you want to update this policy setting we can go to edit of configuration setting and we can update these settings according to our needs so make sure if your windows device is not getting this policy sync make sure you have restarted your devices more than once right sometimes computer configuration policy could take time to sync across devices once your devices get sync you can directly go to microsoft edge by typing this url here edge colon double slash policy and you will find that one two three four five six seven policies are enabled here and policy values are true right i have gathered this screenshot for you so that you can understand the results let me also show you how you can check uh, from your windows security app and browser control from your computer windows 10 11 and you have to go to role based protection setting once you come here uh, all the settings will be turned on and user will not be able to change the setting this is my uh, personal laptop that's why I'm able to change the setting but when you go to you know, manage devices that have applied Windows Defender smart screen securities you will see something like this right this setting is managed by your administrator and the option turning on and off will be disabled on Intune managed devices so user will not be able to change this setting let's see one other way to check is smart screen option are working fine or not so let's go to this url into microsoft edge to check these smart screen settings which we have deployed right okay i have corrected the url uh, let me open this url that's perfect here we can check our smart screen setting let's go to now phishing page should be blocked in microsoft edge and let's validate this setting by clicking on phishing page and it's showing this site has been reported at unsafe and this page is blocked this will mean that your smart screen windows defender will be working against phishing page i will paste this url in the video description for your ease so that you can also verify by this url okay now let's go alert the user to a suspicious page and ask for the feedback so let's go to is this phishing page and see we are getting this pop-up this might not be safe the site you want if you are sure about this site you can report a save or unsafe and this means 
that all the smart screen settings will be working on your Intune managed Windows devices. That's all about this video that how to configure Microsoft Defender smart screen for Microsoft Edge using Microsoft Intune configurations. I hope you enjoyed this detailed and to the point video. Thanks for watching. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe ITPK. Take care. Bye.